we are men of fire. We are forged by fire. You need to feel what is telling you. It's just like a person, a tandu. You need to have a relationship. You need to have a symbiosis. If it's broken, we fix it ourselves. If you take care of it, it will take care of us. Because we have that relationship and we can make that tandu sing. No matter, regardless what is the problem, what is the issues, we have to do this. We have to maintain that fire. When we say Punjab, Panj means five, Ab means water, land of five rivers. Punjab is the shared province between India and Pakistan. At partition in 47, it was divided into two. West Punjab became a part of Pakistan and East Punjab became a part of India. What I like about this part of India, Pakistan, is that if you're from this part of India, Pakistan, you're Punjabi first, perhaps Indian Pakistani second. We are very excited when someone is coming in our home. We do not hide anything from them, like, just give our best. A lot of the agricultural lands in India and Punjab, so this also happens to be the breadbasket for close to 2 billion people in the region. The city has been eating food from the Indian subcontinent for 100 years. No one had decided to put a spotlight in one specific region. Punjabi food had never been done in this context in the city. This restaurant where we are, this was one of my father's restaurants in the early 90s. My brother and I started working over here. It's, this is the continuation of my family's restaurant story in Hong Kong. I, I think to me as a cultural outsider to Punjab, I would describe this as a perfectly curated experience to, to bring someone into the embrace of Punjabi culture and cuisine and hospitality. A lot of love and passion went into all these different inputs. From the tile to the artwork, these are some of the greatest contemporary Indian Pakistani artists. For us, it's not about inventing or reinventing the wheel when it comes to the food. We really don't want to do anything clever. The best people cooking it with the best techniques and the best produce. That, for me, is elevating a cuisine. We chose Plash because I think we had a, a shared vision. We said that we will together write this storybook of amazing culinary stories from the Indian subcontinent, and this will be one. I was on Dubai, and I got a call that we have a project for, on Punjabi cuisine. And being a Punjabi, I personally feel I can do better than any of the chef in this world. Sidhu is very bold and passionate, and Plash is a master craftsman. The, the absolute of the gym. The tandoor is like a mini ecosystem. The quality of the charcoal affects how the tandoor is going to heat up, how much smoke is going to come out, how, how long lasting that heat is going to be. So every time a skewer goes in, the temperature drops. You put two skewers in, temperature will drop further. We have to adjust tandoor temperature accordingly. But then obviously we do not have a button to press and then the heat just goes up or like that. It's a very organic thing. Wherever you go in the street in Punjab, you will see their tandoor. These tandoors are at least 30 years old and from Asim's dad's restaurant, the Mughal Room, they have been preserved and very painfully restored so that they are now the, the center of the universe in the kitchen there. All those fantastic products that's coming out are from those special to tandoors. In the study, we had this uh, issues, guests coming and they were expecting us to be the same as other 20 restaurants in the town. It's not an Indian restaurant, it's a Punjabi restaurant. Hong Kong has a lot of replications of our cuisine, but it's usually generally an introduction. Indian cuisine has got an image problem. It's, it's supposed to be always cheap, it's supposed to be always messy, it's supposed to be always dirty. It's supposed to be so many things, but actually it is not. I, I, I sometimes feel that it's tremendously unfair. You know, there's more to food from the Indian subcontinent than chicken tikka masala and a garlic naan. I think personally we have got a challenge, a mission to change all that perception. So the expectations were First of all, not very good. And then once they started to eat the first dish, then it grew and grew and grew. Getting Michelin was not our target or our aim. To keep this restaurant consistent in terms of service, food and everything, this was our goal. We had really good reviews. And then me and Sandeep and the boys just started to feel like, you know, we, we could get this. We, we felt that our work was worthy of that recognition. 
but the phone call never came. Two days before the award ceremony in Hong Kong, we got a call at the restaurant saying that we'd won a star and we hadn't, hadn't RSVP'd, and I was convinced that it was a prank. A mistake had been made, we'd missed the email. Disbelief turned into jubilation. It brings this cuisine and culture to an audience that otherwise would not experience it. I also think that it's validation for a risk we took. We could have easily done something that wasn't as ambitious, but we felt that with all the firepower that we have over here, the amazing storytellers on the floor and the geniuses in the kitchen, that we were doing ourselves a grave injustice by not taking a risk. So I think our approach was a little bit different than, than other people's approaches. Rather than say, oh, we're going to evolve this or make it 2.0, we worked backwards to find out the essence of Punjabi cuisine and apply all the knowledge and techniques that we have at our disposal today, but to make something that would have been recognizable 50 years ago. It's not about changing the whole appearance and making it totally look not what it is. Preconceived notions of how Indian food should be or what is good or what is modern, we define modern. First bite of Punjab club. It's a stable street food, samosa chaat. We use uh, Mali Spiper potatoes here for the samosa, uh, pati pua. We puree it up. Very mild and very balanced stuffing. In the main dish, we use chickpeas also. Top up with a yogurt, tamarind chutney and mint chutney. Uh, it's not an ordinary samosa and we don't do it with an ordinary mindset. Kima pao is mutton mince and then we slow cook it with onions, tomatoes and fenugreek. Those are the predominant flavors. I think as important as the kima is the pao, we caramelize the hell out of it with lots of amul butter. Gives out a brilliant aroma, really accentuates the whole experience. It's a very, very basic dish, but what we try to do is we incorporate all the elements of dining into it, all the five senses. You're smelling, you're seeing, you're tasting, there's paredos for crunch. Kobia is local fish, so it's come every day fresh. It is one of those fishes that is perfect for this kind of cooking. It's, it's chunky, it's meaty, but it's, it's got a lot of fat. Once you cook it in the tandoor, all that fat which is under the thick skin just drips and basts it naturally. Masale wali lamb chop. Lamb chop is our signature dish in Punjab. So this is a double marination that we, which we do here very effectively makes our tandoori items stand apart. First marination breaks down all the fat, makes sure the meat is supple for all the, all the flavors to penetrate through. The meat rests and that makes it more flavorful. And then the second marination basically is to protect it from the intense heat of the tandoor. All the flavors that we want in the meat are in the second marination. And then when, once you cook in the tandoor, it all bursts out. Uh, it's a long process. It takes three days for us to process one portion of lamb chop. But you know, we are happy to endure that because the end product is free. You're so, so honored and so proud to have something already been around for centuries. We have this opportunity to bring it out and showcase it in the world and we do it with a passion. Dr. Rimo, my chef could go out in the street. Hey chef, you work in New Punjab. I really feel so proud. Hopefully what we're doing here is picked up by future generations. It's a place where we stand for our cuisine, our culture and our hospitality. You know, if someone asks me, what's home like? I can bring them here for an evening. This is what home's like.